Okay, today we're going to uh, talk about dividing polynomials algebraically. And more specifically, we're going to talk about dividing polynomials by monomials. Uh, first off, let me put a quick example down here. If I had something like uh, 3x uh, plus 6 uh, plus 8, then all over 2. This is a fraction, or it's also a division. And uh, we could actually, it's going to label this, the top of this thing, the top is the numerator, just to remind ourselves of this, the vocabulary of this so we don't get confused. And the bottom of this thing, which is just the 2, is okay the denominator. Okay, so the just to understand the vocabulary of words as you go through this. So these are the instructions. When dividing a polynomial by a monomial, use the following strategy. Number one, break the numerator of the question into parts. That's the top of it, into parts, so that each term of the numerator is being divided by the monomial in the denominator. Do each of these smaller questions separately. So again, this example I wrote down, 3x plus 6 is the numerator. And how many terms does the numerator have as two? Terms are separated by pluses, by plus signs and minus signs. And so um, as two terms on the top of that fraction. Number two, we reduce the coefficients of each fraction. So we take care of the coefficients first. And thirdly, we simplify the variables by subtracting the exponents of common variables on top and bottom of each fraction. In other words, we use the exponent laws to take care of the variables. Well, let's that might sound a bit confusing, so let's do some examples and work through those steps, through those steps in our examples here. Okay, so example number one, 8x squared divided by 2. Well, that's just one term on top and one term on the bottom, so we can just do that. Uh, first of all, we'll just do the, the numbers, so we just take the 8 and the, so we're going to deal with the 8 and the 2 here. And 2 divided by, goes into 8, cancel it out. 2 goes into 8 four times, and we have x squared. That's the answer, 4x squared. And sure enough, if we divide 8x squared into two parts, we get 4x squared in each part. Okay, go to the next example. We, uh, we take this one, and in this case here, there's no number to match this with. Okay, that's fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do the, the x's. So, for, so just going back to the 8. So the 8 is here. This equals 8. And the x's, well, what happens if x to the 9 divided by x to the 2? I subtract the exponents, and I get x to the 7. And there's my answer for that question. OK. Um, Go on to number three. Uh, just do it step by step here. We'll do the coefficients first. In this case here, we've got 15 and negative 5. So 5 goes into 15 three times, and it's negative. Don't forget about the negative. So negative 3. And we've got a divided by a. Well, those are both a to the ones, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So they they're canceled out. So those are gone. They're canceled out. As well as the B's. They cancel out. There's one top, one on bottom. And so my answer then is just negative 3. What about the next question? Okay, this question is we're getting into multiple terms on the top here. This first question has two terms on top. We'll break this into two parts then. We'll take 16y squared, put it over the 4y, the denominator plus sign it's on the top there so it goes next 24y is the next term we put that over 4y each term on top goes over the same with the same denominator on the bottom and this we can we can reverse the process if we're adding fractions we need a common denominator we add the tops together and we get the original question so let's just keep going here simplify the first part here uh, let's see now we're going to take uh, the 4 and divide into 16. I'm going to go four times. So we have four. And we have y to the one on the bottom, y squared on top. Two minus one is one. So y to the one plus, so four y is the first term. 
uh, four. Just uh, change colors here. Four goes no twenty-four six times, so I get six. And the y's they just cancel out. These y's cancel out. There's one on the top, one on the bottom, and I get my answer of four y plus six. Let's go on to the next one. A little bit more challenging. A little not mainly the the main thing is to get longer. So I'm going to take this next question and we're going to put the first term of, of the numerator, which is 15x cubed, or negative 5x plus 30x squared y over negative 5x. Then comes a minus sign on top there. 10x to the fifth over negative 5x. And let's proceed starting from the left hand side here to, to simplify this 15 uh, let's see here 15 uh, of a negative 5 this is 5 into 15 three times that is a negative sign so negative 3 x cubed over x to the 1 is just x squared subtract the exponents now we've got the next thing we've got here is we've got a plus and we've got a minus so this one's going to be a minus a a minus in there and uh, we're going to do 5 goes into 30 6 times so 6 x 1 x squared gives me an x and there's a y on top it doesn't cancel out so we just put the y in there it's nothing for it to cancel out with and which brings us to the next part of the question and this part of the question we have again two negative signs or two signs, which means two negatives become a positive. Be careful of those signs. And then we take and the 5 cancel out with the 10. And I get 2. And x, 5 on the top, x, the 1 on the bottom, 5 minus 1 is 4. And there is my final answer, simplified. No more fractions in that one. One more example here. A little bit more challenging. You may not get many like this at all, if any, but uh, we're going to try one of these to show how it works with more complicated questions. In this case here, I got the first term and put it over 3 x squared a cubed minus a 9 x squared a to the fifth over 3 x squared a cubed plus the last one 15 x 6 a to the 3 over top of 3 x squared a cubed okay got it written out then we just read out the th three parts of this question it breaks down to three different smaller questions so let's take care of this let's do the uh, 3 into 12 goes 4 x cubed over x squared is just x. a4 over a3 is just a, 1a left, 4 minus 3 is 1. And then we're going to go to the next term. So we'll just put a minus sign there. And 3 goes to 9 three times. x squared, x squared cancel out. There's no x squareds left. 2 minus 2 is 0. 5 minus 3 is 2, so a squared. And then the next thing we're going to do is put down a plus. 3 goes into 15, 5 times, so 5. x6 over x squared is x to the 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. And a cubed over a cubed, those canceled out, and they're gone. Just like the x squareds were gone. And uh, that's our final answer. So that, very briefly is how you divide polynomials algebraically.